Hello, in this video I will show you how to start scripting in GIS with Python. And first of all, we should download all necessary data from internet. And in this example I will use naturalairdata.com and this is a site where I download all necessary shape files. In this example I will use, uh, for example, uh, Word A Airports. Just download it, and I'm looking for I'm looking for countries. Yes, countries. And download the same directory in my computer. Okay. So extract it into the separate folders. Okay. And for checking purpose, just connect uh, our GIS project to this directory and add the data countries is looking perfect and airports is also looking perfect now we can start to work as you can see we have a big attribution table for airports we, we, we have a location code name uh, Wikipedia link where you can see more information and for countries is almost the same it's a uh, names of countries it's a type and so on okay step number two is RG scripting uh, for scripting for scripting we use a PyCharm framework. I think it's the best framework for scripting in JS by Python. It is a free version of RxPy of PyCharm. Uh, okay, we just download to the same directory and install it. It's not so difficult. Okay, and I think we can run it immediately. Do not import any settings because we don't have any settings be before. Accept to the conditions and run it. Okay, this is not so important. Just press OK and create new folder. Great. Okay, step number three. This is example. Uh, to print it out uh, all shape files that is stored in our directory. For this it's better to put all our shape files into the one folder like this and delete the separate folder that we created before. Okay, run argmap again. Add data and do the same like the like we do before just connect to project folder and add data from this directory okay we now we have uh, all shape files into the one in one folder it's a countries and airport into one folder okay this is uh, just like symbolic for better understanding what Layer is what and run by charm again okay now when we have defined the structure of our project we can to create a new Python script just right mouse and new Python script they name it GIS script save it no, sorry, not save it. And before writing, we should set uh, check that our Python is under GIS directory because uh, only this Python has ArcPy module. So import this module, import ArcPy, and save it, and run for checking. As you can see, its uh, exit code is zero. That means that we have no any errors and RPI model is working. The first step for this example is to set the environment. 
arcpy.env.workspace. Env means environment. And here we should define the real directory to our folder, to our project folder. It's the data. Because this folder uh, storage our all shape files, airport and countries. So we define future list variable that will save our list of uh, shape files. And for this we use a list future classes method. And just print it out. You'll see how it looks like in very simple way. Just I write some string for understanding GIS files that we found and put future list. Save it and run it. Okay, and now you can see uh, two shape files that we uh, have in our project directory is countries and airports. This is here. It's countries and airports. Okay, it's working. So example number two is select by location. Okay, for this we create a new separate Python script is select by location. And do the same import ArcPy model at the beginning. And define some uh, variables that airports is uh, one shape file and countries is a different shape file. For this we use a read method, that means R char and just copy a real director real URL address to the shape file. It is a data folder and airport shape file. Just paste it. Okay, and do it the same with countries. It is our input data for the, our project. Okay, countries, we did it. And in this example, we should define our output because the result of uh, the script will be a new shape file uh, for airport that is inside a specific country. So the output is an output folder. Okay, the next what we do is to make future class, make future layer management. It is a specific function to find, uh, uh, for example, our airports uh, uh, to specific object. It is a point layer and do the same with the countries. We define that countries is uh, like a specific object is countries layer. And uh, for countries we should define a specific country that we should to focus on. And I mean we should define a uh, a not city name like here, like here, but we should define a work loss. What is work loss? Uh, make future of layer management has some different parameters that that should be input. It is a work loss workspace will filter info, and what we must define is work loss. Work loss can should can be defined defined in different ways. We choose we choose a triple quote like this, triple quote, and instead of CD name we replace it by our specific uh, field name where is all countries names. Its field name is name. Just write it name and for example I choose uh, for example Mexico. Mexico country. That means I will choose all airports only within Mexico 
polygon. Okay, and what we do more is to implementing selecting by location regarding to the points layer and country layer that we defined before. Okay, for this view select by location function, we can see more information in official GIS desktop uh, site center. As and you can see, we have a if we have to find in layer uh, parameter that should could be overlap type, select feature, and so on. And uh, as you understand, in this example, we should use within overlap type because we will select all airports inside specific polygon because uh, all airports should be uh, selected should be selected from a specific polygon. That's right. Point layer is is it the first parameter? The second parameter is overlap type. It is within. Just paste it to the script within and we take focusing on countries layer it's Mexico and the last function that we use is future class to future class conversion it is a function that will create a new shape files uh, from our selection the first parameter is our point layer and output So, and the last parameter is the name of our result of shape files is with airports in Mexico. Okay, uh, now we can check how it's working. So, I put a Python script on the right and output directory on the left. And you will see in real time how it's working. I save the, I run the script and as you can see, this script created a new shape files that shows the storage all airports in Mexico polygon it's, and you can see it here I zoom in for better understanding I make it bigger and this is our, our result all airports in specific country polygon and I think the idea is very clear Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe me. Bye-bye.